and welcome to another Spectrum Geeks video. My name is Dale and in this video we're going to go over the solar PV stats for September 2022 for my solar PV system here in Worcestershire, UK. As you can hear, Willow is here snoring because that's what she likes to do for the videos. So let's kick it off. Um, so if you're new to the channel, thanks very much for watching and checking in. If you want to know more about the solar PV system that I have, you can check the little uh, link in the top here, give you an overview of the current solar PV system battery setup, everything that we have. But um, yeah, let's kick on to it. So for September 2022, we generated 699.96 kilowatt hours electricity and we're able to utilize 95% of that. So 664.3 kilowatt hours of energy we put into batteries, running the house, heating hot water, charging our cars, etc. We'll look at that a little bit in a moment. Uh, and we did export 35.66 kilowatt hours. So that 5% that we couldn't utilize back out into the grid to obviously help power our neighbors' homes and alleviate the grid a little bit. We did import 47% of our needs from the grid um, in September. Mainly this is charging electric cars and a little bit of topping up um, of our battery because you know the weather's not been that great, at least where I am. Um, so we do fill up uh, our electricity from the grid off peak. Uh, and we're getting to that a little bit as well. I think this might be my best month in terms of my average unit cost based on obviously the recent price increases but anyway yeah so 47 percent of electricity came from the grid which is 580 kilowatt hours of energy we imported from the grid so if you compare september 2022 to previous years you can see that 2022 was actually our worst year 2020 might look like it was our worst year but if you remember back that was when we had the panels off the roof some roof repair um, so September wasn't a, a, a valid month in 2020 yet. So yeah, unfortunately, I don't, let me know in the comments below what obviously your performance has been like in September. But yeah, this has been our worst September since we had the solar installed four years ago. Um, in terms of our best, worst, and whatever days for September, the 17th of September was actually our best generating day. So 40.391 kilowatt hours of energy uh, were generated from the system the day that we exported the most was the 22nd of september so we exported 3.191 kilowatt hours of energy back into the grid and our highest import day was right at the beginning really 9th of september we imported 45.181 kilowatt hours of energy from the grid again off peak so that brings us on nicely to the bill so how much was our energy bills for September? So as mentioned already, um, is well, I say, I say including, when we talk about our grid import, um, that doesn't always fully cover, um, you know, the, 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 the energy used to obviously have these devices running. So the solar edge says that we imported 580 kilowatt hours, but looking at the meter, um, it was actually slightly more. So 598.9, kilowatt hours of energy were imported from the grid but again most of it was off peak so 97.5 percent of that electricity was during off peak 22.5 percent during peak times and that meant that our average unit cost for those 598.9 kilowatt hours of energy was only 7.70 pence per kilowatt hour i say only obviously we used to be down in the fives um, but based on the fact that my unit cost really is only 7.5 pence off peak, 7.7 .7 is pretty damn pretty damn close. Um, and that brought our total bill in terms of energy and standing charges to £55.93 for electricity for the month of September. And then for gas, we're still not using any gas at the moment, really. Um, we use our gas for our central heating. Uh, we haven't really had the heating on yet, apart from a short blip. Uh, where we had the boiler service this month um, so 0.76 pence I think of gas we actually used the rest of it was standing charge so a total gas bill of eight pounds and 15 pence so that's uh, how things look from a, a kind of solar PV and a grid perspective now we'll talk about kind of how much energy was used in our Eddie Zappi and our Powerwall 2 
I don't know why I forgot how many days there was in September and I wasn't paying attention and I forgot to go out and uh, take pictures of the Eddie and the Zappy. I won't do my usual rant about why I can't get this on the app. So I don't have the breakdown of what was grid and what was solar, but we used 143.7 kilowatt hours of energy through the Eddie heating hot water. So some of that would have been from solar surplus. Some of it is um, a couple of hours that we boost every other night um, from the grid to keep our hot water tank topped up. Then for our Zappy, 432.8 kilowatt hours of energy went into charging our electric vehicles. And then for our Tesla Powerwall 2, we managed to get 323 kilowatt hours of energy out of our Powerwall 2 to use um, instead of pulling from the grid. 61% of that energy did come from solar. So 197.03 kilowatt hours was from solar charging the battery. And then 39% of that was from the grid. So 125.97 kilowatt hours of energy came in from the grid. As I mentioned uh, in previous videos, we're currently with Optimus Energy. We've been with them for, I don't know, nearly four years, I think. Uh, happy with the customer service, really still happy with Octopus Go. If you're considering moving um, to another supplier, specifically the off-peak tariff, you have an electric vehicle, then definitely consider Octopus Go. You can use the link in the description uh, and we basically both get £50 each credited to our account to go towards our energy bills, which is great if we obviously can save money and, uh, you know, do our bit because it's renewable energy as well. As I mentioned earlier, any questions, please ask them down in the comments or consider joining the Discord channel where you can engage with me and other people in the Spectrum Geeks community. And again, let us know how your system performed in September 2022. Was it one of your better Septembers? Or was it one of your worst? I'll be interested to know how we can compare and contrast. As always, thank you very much for watching. Like this video if you have done. Subscribe if you haven't done already. Uh, both the liking and the subscribing helps the YouTube algorithm send more people to this channel and we can talk about solar things and other stuff. Hopefully other videos that you might want to consider watching at the end of this one. But until the next one, take care of yourself and goodbye for now.